Chapter 59 Thanksgiving A few minutes ago I had a welcome telephone call, a man thanking me, gratefully, if tardily, for something I did for him some weeks ago. We hear too seldom from grateful people, and too often from complainers. The psalmist says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever. Psalm 107.1 one of the most common themes of the Psalms is the summons to give thanks to the Lord. Thanksgiving should be specific. We should thank God for His gifts, individually and specifically. Each day gives us fresh reasons for gratitude. If we have no other reason, we should thank God for His grace. Families without appreciation for what others do or for one another's love, soon become unhappy and unloving. The joy of preparing a good meal or working to support a family is made possible by appreciation. We are made happier when people express their gratitude to us. We should also be ready to give thanks to others. Above all, we should give thanks to God. We need to cultivate thanksgiving in our lives, because God requires it. An exhausted pastor, broken in health, had to retire a few years ago. At the time of his retirement, many people strongly urged him to stay on, saying they loved him and needed him. All this only hurt the man. And he told me, If over the years they had been as ready to say as much to me, instead of complaining about others, my health today might be better. Have you hurt or broken down someone else's spirit by your own lack of gratefulness?